Hello and welcome to our next Innova from My Apps tutorial. In today's video, we will be introducing our recordings app. We will show you how to set up the recordings app, how to use it, and how to record phone calls with your desk phone and with your soft phone app using the My Apps client for Windows and Mac OS. Before being able to use the recordings app, it needs to be downloaded from the Innova Phone App Store and installed. To fully set up the recordings app, a template needs to be created in the PBX Manager. Please open the PBX Manager, click on Templates and then on Add a Template. Go ahead and enter a name for the template. Then click on Licenses and check the box for App Innova Phone Recorder. Save the template by clicking on OK. You can also add extensions in the app platform Recordings to extend the permissions for individual users. The Recordings app can be used with different recording modes. Please open the Devices app and select the respective telephone under Devices. Now click on the tab Phone and on Recording. The different modes can be selected freely. Manual stands for a manual recording, Transparent stands for permanent recording and Optional is also a permanent recording with the possibility to stop the recording. A call can easily be recorded by pressing the Redial key on the desk phone. The red recording symbol will appear on the device. In order to be able to record phone calls with a soft phone app, you will first need to define an URL where the files shall be saved. You can adjust this URL individually via the settings of the soft phone app within the My Apps client for Windows and Mac OS. Access the settings of your soft phone app via the hamburger menu in the top right corner of the app. With the Devices app, the admin of the PBX can set up an URL as default or block an URL. Please open the Devices app and click on Devices. Select the correct PBX and click on the tab PBX in the top row. Under My Apps, you will now see the field for the freely configurable recording URL. You can activate the Force checkbox to block users from changing the URL. Back in the hamburger menu of your soft phone, you can also adjust the settings to start the recording of phone calls by default right at the beginning of each call. You further have the option to only start the recording of calls with external phone calls. In addition to recording calls automatically, you can also begin and stop the recording of calls manually. When you are in an established call, click on the button Media within the control panel of your soft phone app window to get to the respective button. Please note that these functions of the soft phone app are only available within the My Apps client for Windows and Mac OS. If you use the soft phone app via browser, these functions are not available. At the top left corner within the Recordings app, you can search for Recordings. To the right, Recordings can be listed according to date, name or phone number in ascending or descending order. At the top, you will also find the Scroll Lock button. This button will block automatic scrolling if new recordings are added. On the right hand side of the Scroll Lock button, you will find the Refresh button. By clicking on this button, your list will be updated manually. You can listen to your recordings directly within the Recordings app. Simply click on the Play button of the respective recording. Use the Play button on the left to listen to the recording and the Download button in the middle to save the recording locally. At the top right, you can set different filters, such as names and time periods. The tab also provides an action log that lists all activities of the Recordings app. The same filters can be set as for the recordings, plus the operation. If you would like to delete a recording, check the respective box on the right-hand side and click on Delete below. If you accidentally deleted a recording, go ahead and click on the trash bin at the top. Click on the box next to Restore and then on Execute at the bottom right. To get back to your recordings, click on the page symbol at the top. For more tutorial videos, please visit our website, our YouTube channel and the tutorials app in My Apps. Many thanks for watching and see you again next time!